Happy Sunday evening, you guys. Anybody think I was gonna forget or sneak by not doing my live today? Well, I almost did. I almost forgot. We went to um, we went to see Creed, Creed Two at the movies this evening. And anyway, I just thought, oh, I've got to do my live. So I told you I'd be back, and we're gonna work on part three of this um, wardrobe. Sorry, my my tea is steaming, you guys. Um, we're gonna work on part three of this wardrobe redo. Um, I started it on Friday, did a little more yesterday, and um, we're going to work on the top right now. This was a wardrobe that I did several months ago, and as much as I loved it, it didn't sell, and um, I'm feeling like my heart wasn't really in it, so I never even finished the sides of it because I kept staring at it, kept staring at it. Hi, Chandra. Welcome, you guys. I kept staring at it and thought, gosh, I'm not feeling it. It hasn't sold, and so we're going to do it all over again. So um, Friday night now, we're just what you're seeing right here, guys, is the first coat of the new finish, okay? So all this up here was the original um, makeover. So I've lightly sanded the entire front piece and we're just gonna, we're gonna start over. So what I'm showing you now, down here. Okay, so those are the colors that I've started with. And again, it's just the base coat. So we'll do the top today. And then tomorrow we'll come in and we will start with the second coat for the front of this guy. Okay, so we're on part three. We'll paint it together. It's so much more fun painting with you guys than all alone. Um, and it's it's cold. It's like 40, maybe less in Oklahoma City. And I'm a little bit on the chilly side. But it's one of those days where I've been chilly all day. And even in the movies. Have you ever noticed how many people bring in blankets to movies? Is that genius? When I, you know, when you're not the first ones to grab the tickets, you don't get the recliner seats. So I didn't get those seats. But I'm thinking, that woman's walking in with a blanket. That woman's walking with a blanket. I'm that woman. I need the blanket. So I wear this. I leave my coat on the whole time. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So right now it looks like a total hot mess. But interesting is a polite word. I like it. The original finish that I did a few months ago, I left all this wood and just put a white wax over it. So it's a, it's a, um, it is, Martha. Oh gosh, it's hard. It's hard, but the colors were so neutral and there were more pastels, um, and I just wasn't stinking feeling it. I don't know what it is. I was afraid you were about to drink paint. Everybody says that. These, this is by May, May Designs, and she's a, uh, anyway, it has my, my business name on it. It says the Turquoise Iris Furniture and Art. It has my logo on it, but it's, it's stainless steel. It, it keeps this tea. I drink like three or four cups of hot tea every day even in the wind, even in the summer, um, because I don't really drink really anything else other than water. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of hot tea. Let's set it down. So this piece here, originally, this is prairie gray. And then I used my IOD stamps to very subtly add like the birds and branches. And I love the birds and branches stamps. Actually, I have some of them. Um, Kathy, I love the original too, but again, I think it wasn't, I wasn't quite as strong. I don't know, but it sat here, no one interested in it. And so I just thought, oh, thank you, Renee. Um, anyway, I used this stamp by IOD and I actually have several of these left for sale. Um, and I do love the birds, but I think what I'm liking when I do them in a little bit more contrast. I just like contrast, I think. I tried to do subtle and I just wasn't feeling it. If anybody wants these though, message me. I have like four left um, before I place my next order. Um, okay, so what we're doing, this is Old 57, okay? This is Old 57. I have Marquee, which is a red. I have um, Summer Crush, Bohemian Blue, and the very bottom I have Black Velvet, and then I put a little bit over, um, Tracy just messaged me, honey. Um, I put a little mint chip over the black with my putty knife last night. If you guys caught my live last night, I used this guy. So what we're doing is I'm gonna work from here up, and then I need to let that dry, and then tomorrow we'll come back on and we'll start with our second coat basically softening everything because right now like if you're just now popping on you will see um that it's very stark and it almost just like it's just very 
it's not smooth, okay? It's just not smooth, and I'm looking for smooth here. So we're gonna cover up the birds. Like I said, I just, um, this area is left like this because I put white wax down, and when you see it really closely, you can see that the white is in all of this gray, and I really loved the way that it weathered. I mean, I made it look like that, obviously. I went ahead and coated this hardware with paint. I put some white wax over it. I buffed it, and most of the paint came off but that white wax got down in these grooves, um, and this is just how you open it. So this piece is available. It has a hanging rod here, and then it had for long, and then it has two sidebars for shorter clothes, and then Matt added two, um, two uh, shelves on each side, so you have more, you know, it's more versatile. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with, um, I think I'm going to pull the bohemian blue that's down here on the bottom. I'm going to grab that. So let's do that. Bohemian blue, if you're not familiar with DIY paint, it's a dark teal. And I'm going to use Paint Pixies Dusty. Okay, so I'm pouring my paint out onto a plate and I'm gonna use um, the Dusty because it's perfect for blending, and so we're gonna get started on the top of that. Okay, all right, I think you guys can see the whole thing. What colors were on it originally? Okay, so Shelly, I had Prairie Gray, Great question. I had Prairie Gray, Farm Fresh, Sandy Blonde, Mint Chip, and Crinoline. So I had five colors on it. If anybody remembers the live, the Friday Night Live I did when Matt was having to be my voice because I had no voice, um, Matt actually, that was the one that we were painting during that war, that we were painting that wardrobe during that live um, where he was using my voice or speaking for me with Q. All right, so I'm just going to start here and basically we will completely cover the original finish or not the original, the first makeover I should call it. And we're going to do a second. If you have followed me long enough, you know that the sides are not going to look the same. Nothing's going to be equal and nothing's going to be the exact same because I don't think that things weather like that naturally. Whether the sun bleached it or water got on it. and then I will come in with the next half. Now, it looks splotchy and so crazy, guys. I promise you, it's the teenage years, or it's the terrible twos, or the crazy threes. What do you call the threes? What's the threes? Yeah, bye-bye birdies. I'm sorry, ladies. You didn't chirp loud enough, ladybirds. I love you. I really do. I have another piece inside that's gray and bohemian blue that I have the birds on, and I do really love the way that one turned out. But I think it's because I added the Bohemian Blue. I seriously think that's it. Um, anyway, she's just, just she's in her teenage years, so she's she's just you know she's figuring out who she wants to be, and sometimes her her outfit looks good, and sometimes it's not so good. Crazy. She sanded it. Yes, I did. I sanded it a little bit before I started because I had already waxed this piece and had it available online. And so I'm putting a little bit of Bohemian Blue. Thank you for answering, Mrs. Watson. Appreciate you so much. All right, so while that's wet, I'm gonna grab my next color. Which is gonna be, oh, hey, 057. Hey. And I'm going to 
pull it back up over the bohemian blue so they blend well. Move pretty quick. Again, this is the base coat. So once this dries, tomorrow we'll come back in. The reason I'm doing a base coat is I want it to look layered with lots of color. And my paint is drying really quickly. I'm trying to decide if once I'm done, we'll have to just kind of stand back and look at it when we're done with this whole piece, if I'm gonna add some hand-painted flowers that are kind of cascading and falling. I don't know, I can't decide. I'll be back tomorrow around noon or one, noon, between noon and one o'clock central time and we'll start working on the, the second coat to really start pulling everything together, okay? Let me get a little bit more of the old 57. I, I get that it looks, maybe you can't quite see the vision and that's okay. Underneath there. Pull the O57 up over the Bohemian Blue. Definitely going to be adding some golden ticket to this because I want a little bit of shimmer. one more color right here and it's going to be my mint chip okay Actually, I'm going to scoot over here to this side can you guys see here let me scoot down just a bit let me scoot that down just a bit I'm going to pull it up over the old 57 as well. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I certainly did, and I can't believe how close it's getting to Christmas, but I have about 80% of my shopping done. I haven't bought anything but what's online. That's all I have bought was so far was online shopping you have it 80 percent done so the only people i have i have to finish up my boys and i have matt to do it's water and then i have um i have just like my like my youngest my youngest kiddos like nieces and nephews that are real young so i can i like to go pick out their their toys myself rather than do that online, but that's it, and I'm done. Got my mama, my mother-in-law, so happy to get my tree up next weekend. I did not get my tree up just because um, I'm thinking of going and buying a new one, and so hoping to do that this weekend. Who do y'all recommend to buy a tree? Did anybody buy a new tree this year? If you did, where should I go? If you're just not popping on, this is the base coat of my redo, okay? I'm gonna dry brush the mint chip over the Bohemian Blue for some extra texture. That you can't see maybe from where you are, but you can certainly see it in person. And I've extended my cell, you guys. I've extended my cell to Cyber Monday, which means 
all my furniture and all of my art is 40% off one day tomorrow. Um, the code is thankful40. 40% 40 off, I'm losing my mind, but I decided to do one big sell once a year. <clears throat> Not mess with it the rest of the year. I sold six paintings for um, Black Friday. So, um, Chandra, yes, and the red. Uh-huh. Mm. Two of my buyers right there. Three of my buyers. Three of my buyers right there. So, yeah, I'm going to extend it to Cyber Monday. All right, so we have this section. So we're going to leave that alone, and I'm going to now work on this section right here. And then we'll call it quits for today, okay? Um, here's the thing. I don't really want bohemian blue across the entire top. I kind of want to add like a, a little bit of a different color over here. So nobody panic, but this is what I'm going to do. Nobody freak. I'm going to grab my green. Okay, so I'm going to kind of create my own. Haha, -ha, Kathy, you better. Thankful 40. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put yellow right on. Um, oh, by the way, my website is theturquoisiris.com. I don't have everything on my Etsy shop, but theturquoisiris.com. So I'm going to put my green, and I'm going to put it over here on this section and mix it with just a smidge of bohemian blue. So nobody panic. It's going to be good. Okay, so let me get my bohemian blue mixed in here with the green. I'm literally just like pouring it on a plate so I can use this fancy paint pixie brush. Guys, it's the last night of the Paint Pixie brush sale, 20% off. If you're wanting to take advantage of that. I got a link for that too. Which green? Rene, I am going to use um, Fancy Farm Girl. And so I'm going to mix it with my Bohemian Blue. So it's kind of a, well, you're about to find out. Stirring it on my plate, and I really just need it for this little section. It's going to be like a dark farm fresh. You're exactly right, Heather Watson. It's exactly what it looks like. Okay. It is exactly what it looks like. leave this little section right here where the wood is. I may even just leave that. I kind of like the way that did its did itself there. Let it just a little bit. I love this color. This color right here. Oh my goodness. The green over the bohemian blue. My stars, I love that. It's like a like a like a, some sort of pine green. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Bye bye birdies. I'm sorry. Bye bye birdies. Sorry, not sorry, but don't worry. I'm still going to use you again, just not on this piece. I loved the birds. God, that was so much fun to do those birds with the branches and the blossoms. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is golden right here. I love it. Remember, this is the base coat. Nobody panic. Tomorrow we're going to cover it with something really, really similar. Like, I will use basically the same colors, but we're going to blend everything just a little bit more. I'm just going to let that go on and drip. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so I'm 
pulling this down over the mint chip. And in a second, I'm gonna grab my mint chip and pull it back up over the green. And this is a mixture of Bohemian Blue and Fancy Farm Girl. Top of the door there. Oh, thank you for sharing. The, um, the Birds in the Branches stamp. If you're interested, you guys, I have four of these left. Someone just asked me. They're $26. Um, just send me a DM with your email address and I can send you an invoice. I've got four left. And they're reusable. They're not, they're something you can have and use forever, okay? The, sta the IOD stamps. I am a retailer for them now, but I was just, I ordered, had my first order and I'm just about sold out trying to figure out shipping and all of those things. And so until I figure all of that, the technicalities out, I don't have them uploaded on my website, but I will. These can be found at like Sally's. Um, this was actually from a dog grooming store. My friend Danae put do the D on on it with her letters and mm, and um, she is a, she has like, what'd she say? She has the number one papillion pup. Oh, I'm using Summer Crush Girl right here. Mm -hmm. um, the number one papillion in the nation. And so she is very accustomed to grooming. And this is what she gave me. She gave Queda Allen one as well. Um, haha, Nikki, you love blue too, don't you, girl? Nikki. Nikki's like a marathon runner now. She's busting her tail, running in the snow. So impressed with you, girl. So impressed. Don't worry. I mean, I'm looking. I'm watching you, girl. I'm cheering you on while I'm walking on my tread wheel on th treadmill at 3.0, okay? Two and a half miles every day. 3.0 speed. Yeah, I'm watching you run your marathons, girl. <laughs> okay, so while this is wet... We're gonna grab mint chip and come back over it. If you're not familiar with mint chip is, well just imagine mint. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, right here. Anytime I get an opportunity to use Summer Crush, which is our orange, back with Bohemian Blue, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You just know better know I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna pull this mint chip back up over the green for this base coat. And guys, if you wanna get notified, you know I still have like 45 days of going live. <laughs> Is that what I mean? I have? No, I don't have that many, do I? I don't know. But I of going live, if you wanna get notified when this live is over, you can turn on notifications. You should get like a little ding on your phone. Um, and it lets you know when I'm live. And also, if you're following me on YouTube, you can just click the little bell and you get like another notification on YouTube when I'm live also. Or just actually, I think even when I'm, when I've posted a new video, I don't know, I'm still new to the YouTube thing. Okay, guys, since this is just the base coat, I'm not worrying about getting it perfect. I mean, that's just, that's just crazy town. There's no reason to worry about getting it perfect. But I love this green we made together, you guys. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I have 34. Okay, that sounds better. I have 34 after today, because today is 56. That's right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll also be having some of our DIY retailers come on with me. I have a, several other ladies just come on with me. Some of the ladies from my group and just several ladies that I know. Just because it's fun and because I want you to meet them, that's why. Um, you can also click the three dots at the top. You can turn them on now. Dana, thank you. I didn't even know that. Dion, I love this look a lot better. Thank you. 
Thank you, but like I said, it's still the base coat. So tomorrow we'll come on around noon, one-ish, and we'll go in for like the, like the hay, like the pow, okay? Um, but before you guys go, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, grab my summer crush. There's that orange we were talking about. I'm just gonna put a little bit down. Hey, Jasmine, seriously, Fancy Farm Girl and Bohemian Blue, right here. Right here. This color is like a pine tree. Love it. So then I'm gonna grab my French tip, a little of this, a little water, and I wanna highlight the trim on this piece with this orange. And then I'm probably gonna even highlight the, the handle here. So let's do this, because we can. Just because we can, why not? So I was, for anybody who is familiar with Facebook and like the algorithm and those kinds of things, you guys, if you are a fellow business person who even does lives or anything like that, um, listen to this. So I think, it, well, anyway, one, someone on here watched a live that I did exactly a year ago. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Several of you did, I think, because it came back up to my feet. Um, it had 36,000 views on it. It had reached, the reach on it was 85,000. So a year ago, it was so much easier to get like a large view, view a large, yes, I thought it was you, Heather. Um, a bigger viewership. And now that they've changed the algorithm, um, it's just interesting to me because some of my views will be like eight or 9,000, but the video from a year ago was 36,000 and almost had 300 shares. That's 290 shares. Isn't that weird? Like Facebook has changed. I don't know if it's because they want you to, I don't understand, but I remember my, my videos and my lives would get so many more viewers than they do now. And uh, they changed the algorithm and just, I mean, I guess I would say positively pushing you to, to do better and to be better or I don't know, but it's crazy. When I looked at that, I was like, what? I was just painting, painting the top of a piece of furniture on a Friday night, November 25th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 36,000 views. And the eight, the reach was 85,000. Crazy. Anyway, just very interesting. So, guys, if you're seeing some of that and you're like me and you do lives a lot or you just, you're noticing that your posts aren't going as far as they used to, welcome to the club. Guys, it's the base coat. If you're just popping on here, this is the base coat to a wardrobe makeover that didn't sell and I just decided to redo it a little bit. Change it up. So this is um, Summer Crush and it's going over a little bit of the green. I have a whole bunch of it down there. So with the orange down there and the orange up here, I'm gonna consider it balanced. I'm going to give you, remember, base coat. Nobody freak. She's in her teenage years. She's got a lot of, you know, she's got a lot of things to learn. Okay. okay. So you can see I have a lot of the summer crush down here. And I have black, bohemian blue, marquee. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add more red for sure. Gosh, I love that green over there with that. Yes, I love it. Okay. Did you have big top or wax on it? Linda, I had wax and I sanded it down lightly with my sanding sponge over the entire front. Uh, the sides, I didn't like it enough to even paint the sides of this baby. Uh, hi, Michelle. So 
that's what we're working on you guys i hope you're able to join me back tomorrow between noon and one if you're at work no worries um you can always watch the replay here at the turquoise iris so um if you are interested again in this i have four of these left and i have actually two of these two of the letter stamps from iod so for you sign makers this is fabulous i have two of these left these are 37 and the stamps 26 dm me with your email address and i'll invoice you um other than that you guys are awesome thanks for showing up here tonight and i'll be back tomorrow for day 57 of my 90 day facebook live challenge thank you for the hearts Miss Michelle, I see your little profile picture. And thank you, um, oh, awesome Chandra. And thank you um, to all of you who used my cell and purchased, um, I sold six paintings using my Black Friday 40% off and I've extended that until tomorrow, you guys. So Cyber Monday, VI, no, what is my cell code? Thankful 40, okay, through tomorrow. Thank you. You guys have an awesome night, an awesome Monday, and I'll see you again, thanks.